The love story of Cleopatra is truly captivating and worth telling. You may know about Cleopatra's controversial romantic relationships with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. But did you know that she had a true love before them? Who was he and what was their love story like? These are some facts about Cleopatra that few people know. Cleopatra not being a native Egyptian Cleopatra is often thought of as an Egyptian queen, but in fact, she was not of Egyptian descent. She was born in 69 BC in Alexandria, which was a Greek city in Egypt. Cleopatra was part of the Ptolemaic dynasty, which was established by Alexander the Great's general, Ptolemy Isoter, after Alexander's death. The Ptolemies were Macedonian Greeks, and they ruled Egypt for nearly 300 years. Cleopatra's father, Ptolemy XII Thalites, was Macedonian Greek, and her mother's identity is uncertain, but some sources suggest she may have been a concubine or a Syrian princess. Cleopatra was raised in Alexandria and was educated in Greek philosophy, science, and literature. She could speak several languages, including Egyptian, which was the language of the common people in Egypt at that time. Despite not being of Egyptian descent, Cleopatra identified strongly with Egyptian culture and religion. She adopted many Egyptian traditions and practices and was known for her love of Egyptian art and architecture. She was also the first Ptolemaic ruler to learn the Egyptian language and to have her name written in hieroglyphics. Cleopatra's heritage and identity were often used as political tools during her reign. Her enemies portrayed her as a foreigner who was not fit to rule Egypt, while she presented herself as a true pharaoh and a goddess in human form. Despite the controversy surrounding her heritage, Cleopatra remains a fascinating figure in history, known for her intelligence, charm, and political savvy. Cleopatra Black or White there has been a long-standing debate surrounding the ethnicity and skin color of Cleopatra, the last pharaoh of Egypt. Some believe that she was of African descent, while others argue that she was Greek or Macedonian. One thing that is agreed upon, however, is that her skin color was likely not black, but rather white or olive-toned. Cleopatra was born in 69 BC in Alexandria which at the time was a melting pot of different cultures and ethnicities. She was a member of the Ptolemaic dynasty, which was of Greek Macedonian origin. Her ancestors were Alexander the Great's generals who had taken control of Egypt after his death. According to ancient historians, Cleopatra was known for her beauty and charm, which helped her secure political alliances and control over Egypt. However, there is no evidence to suggest that her skin color played a role in her attractiveness. In fact, many depictions of Cleopatra from ancient times show her with light skin and European features. This is likely due to the influence of Greek and Roman artists who often portrayed non-Greek subjects with Greek features. It is also worth noting that in ancient Egypt, Skin color was not as significant a marker of identity as it is in modern times. In conclusion, while Cleopatra's exact skin color cannot be determined with certainty, the evidence suggests that she was not black, but rather white or olive-toned. Her Macedonian heritage and the artistic depictions of her from the time support this theory. Cleopatra's True Love There is a true love story of Cleopatra that may not be widely known. This story is related to Cleopatra's previous lover before Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, a young man named Marcus Antonius Creticus.
According to historian Plutarch, Cleopatra and Marcus Antonius Creticus were very close lovers who loved each other deeply. However, their relationship was cut short when Marcus Antonius Creticus died while fighting a rebellion in Crete. After the death of her lover, Cleopatra was very grief-stricken and mourned the loss of Marcus Antonius Creticus. She then honored the memory of her lover by naming one of her future sons Ptolemy Philadelphus. Although Cleopatra's love story with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony is more famous, her romantic relationship with Marcus Antonius Creticus also shows another side of the famous Egyptian queen's love life. Cleopatra, the last pharaoh of Egypt, had several children, and two of her most well-known children were fathered by two different powerful Roman leaders, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. Cleopatra's first child was a son named Caesarion, born in 47 BC, and was believed to be fathered by Julius Caesar, who she had a romantic relationship with at the time. Cleopatra and Caesar's affair was considered scandalous as they were both in positions of power, and their relationship caused political tensions in Rome. Cleopatra's second set of children, twins named Alexander Helios and Cleopatra Selene II, were born in 40 BC, and were fathered by Mark Antony, who was in a relationship with Cleopatra at the time. Antony was a member of the Second Triumvirate of Rome, and his relationship with Cleopatra caused political strife in Rome and led to a power struggle between Antony and Octavian, Caesar's adopted son and successor. Cleopatra and Antony went on to have two more children, another son named Ptolemy Philadelphus and a daughter named Cleopatra Selene II. The children were believed to be born in 36 BC. It is worth noting that while the fathers of Cleopatra's children were powerful Roman leaders, her children were not accepted in Rome and were seen as threats to Rome's power. Cleopatra orchestrated the deaths of her siblings in order to rule without any rivals. Cleopatra's ascension to the throne was not without controversy. When her father Ptolemy XII died, he willed the throne to both Cleopatra and her younger brother, Ptolemy XIII, who was only 10 years old at the time. Cleopatra, who was 18 years old, quickly asserted her power and attempted to rule alone, leading to a power struggle with her brother. In an effort to consolidate her rule, Cleopatra had her sister, Arsinoe IV, and her brother, Ptolemy XIV, killed. It's unclear exactly how involved Cleopatra was in their deaths, but it's widely believed that she ordered their executions in order to eliminate potential rivals to the throne. The death of her siblings caused outrage among the Egyptian people and led to a civil war between Cleopatra and her remaining brother, Ptolemy XIII. The Mysterious Death of Cleopatra The death of Cleopatra, the last pharaoh of Egypt, is a subject of controversy among historians and scholars. According to ancient sources, Cleopatra committed suicide by allowing herself to be bitten by a poisonous snake known as an asp. This was a common method of suicide in ancient Egypt, and it is depicted in many artistic representations of Cleopatra's death. However, some scholars have raised doubts about this account. One theory is that Cleopatra did not die from an asp bite, but instead was poisoned or suffocated by an assassin sent by her Roman conqueror. Octavian, later known as Caesar Augustus. This theory is based on the fact that Cleopatra was taken prisoner by Octavian after the defeat of her lover Mark Antony in the Battle of Actium, and that she may have been seen as a threat to his rule. Another theory is that Cleopatra faked her own death in order to escape Octavian's captivity and live out the rest of her life in secret. 
This theory is based on the fact that the body of Cleopatra was never seen by anyone outside of Octavian's inner circle, and that there is no record of a burial or funeral for her. Despite these alternate theories, the traditional account of Cleopatra's death by asp bite remains the most widely accepted explanation. It is also the most romanticized version of her story. As it suggests that Cleopatra chose to end her life rather than submit to Roman rule. In conclusion, the controversy surrounding Cleopatra's death continues to intrigue historians and the general public alike. While the most commonly accepted theory is that she died by suicide through the use of an asp, there are still those who question this account and suggest alternative explanations. Regardless of how she died, Cleopatra's legacy as a powerful and intelligent leader, as well as her romantic entanglements with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, continue to fascinate people to this day. Her story serves as a reminder of the enduring allure of history and the fascinating individuals who shaped it. Thank you for watching.